Hi, I'm Megan Shago, and I've been a licensed realtor since 1998. I've sold over a thousand homes, and I'm here today to help you have your best buying or selling experience. Hey guys, it's Megan, and it is Mondays with Megan, where I give you the very best advice that I can possibly think of so that you can have the best real estate transaction that you could possibly ever have. And I usually am inspired to share information with you because I saw something happen. So this week, let me explain uh, something that came up that I thought you should all know about. When you purchase your house, there is a period of time in which the tax assessor has to catch up to the fact that you have purchased a house. So meanwhile, they're charging you taxes, the same amount of taxes that they would charge the pre previous owner, but you've bought the house for typically a lot more. So your taxes go up. So you get a bill in the mail. It's called your supplemental tax bill. And it's usually thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, if you are impounding your taxes, they will, um, you know, your bank should have created an impound account. So they'll have the money there to pay the, um, supplemental tax bill. But if they don't, then you're going to get the bill and you're going to be like, well, what is this? And yes, you have to pay it because we know that paying your taxes, you can't get out of it. Okay. So here's something to consider that specifically came up this week. Now, if you're purchasing a property, let's say the property sold for 700,000 in 2017, and now you're purchasing it for 1 million, then there is a $300,000 difference, right? So that's how much your taxes would go up. Now, the owner, let's say, that purchased it for 700,000 used Prop 19, so their property taxes, they transferred them to this property and they, so that they could save their property tax base. Let's say they're retirees on a fixed income. They can't pay for their property taxes to go up that high. They can't afford it. And so you're not going to be paying a supplemental tax bill based off of what they bought the house for at 700000 You are going to pay a supplemental tax bill based off of what they transferred over from Prop 19. So instead of, let's say, 2,500 or 3,000, you're paying 5,000. So these are all things that you have to look at in your disclosures. Usually in your natural hazard disclosures, there's um, a, a supplemental property tax calculator. So you can be aware, be prepared, and have a successful transaction.